this is question number 9, and it says that f of x equal to 3x plus 75 over x plus 25. Um, find each interval on which the graph of f is both decreasing and concave yeah, down. So we're going to have to find the first and the second derivative. So the first derivative will take, that's going to be 3 minus 75 over x squared. And we're going to want to set this equal um, to zero to know our critical points. So we can test points on either side to know where it's decreasing. So I'm going to find a um, common denominator, and that will give me 3x squared minus 75 over x squared. So I set the top and the bottom equal to zero. And so 3x squared minus 75 is equal to zero. x squared is equal to zero. So one of our critical numbers we know is zero. And here we add 75 divided by 3 and get x squared is equal to 25. Take plus or minus the square root of that, both sides. And we get plus or minus 5. So when I have that on my number line, I've got negative 5, 0, and 5. I know that my value should not change on my side of 0 and that it should on the 5s. So when I plug in 1 into my first derivative, I get 3 minus 75, which is a negative, over 1. So I get negative here, negative here, positive here, using multiplicities. So this is for my first derivative. Now that we know that, I'm going to go ahead and take my second derivative. My second derivative. I'm going to take my second derivative off of this guy, because that will be a little bit easier. It's going to be negative 1 through the, or actually positive, because I'm taking negative 75x to the negative 2, so we times negative 2 by 75, um, by negative 75, so it's going to be positive 150 over x cubed. So again, here, for x cubed, we get, um, we test points on either side. And we'll set it equal to 0, and we just get 0. If I plug in 1, I get a positive, and I plug in negative 1, I get a negative. So if we want to know the interval where it's both decreasing and concave down, so this is concavity, and this is increasing, decreasing, I can compare my graphs, and I know that, okay, well, I'm concave down for anything less than 0. So I come over here and I want to look where it's decreasing on that interval. And it's only decreasing from negative 5 to 0. And that is uh, answer choice A.